Well, when you go back to Mumbai, you start to encourage your patients to break plain film x-ray. Okay, anterior posterior view, full spine and lateral. MRIs are totally useless, except for soft tissue like this. You being a chiropractor, the most important radiographs that you can receive is plain film. It must be weight bearing. Okay, A to P, lateral. That's a diagnostic x-ray. Okay, you will see on x-ray, most of the time, patients have a loss of curve. So we want to reestablish that curve. So, C7, C6, C5, C4, C3, C2, C1. So in your mind's eye, you must have the angle in which to get the lordosis back. So Dr. Patrana is now bringing a spine to us. Okay. Most patients are like this. Sit up, doctor. This is what you're going to see on playing film most of the time now. You know why they're like this? You know why people are like this? This is the reason why. Over the last 20 years, because of mobile phone texting, okay, people have gone from being in this position, which is the proper correct position, lordosis, hypothesis, to a flat thoracic spine, and an anterior head carriage, flat cervical spine. Over the last six to eight months, Dr. Petra and I have witnessed this time and time and time and time and time and time again. And we've had people bring plain film x-rays. And we both came to the understanding that this is cell phone, man. This is the problem. Okay? So you, you just look in the lobby, watch the people that are waiting to see you. What position are they in? Watch. Look, if I'm doing this. What's going on with my spine? It's becoming adapted and conditioned to be like this. Okay? This is going to require a lot of work. It's also going to require some encouragement and, how shall I say, my father, Dr. John, great salesperson, knew how to speak and educate people beautifully said you must use kid gloves when telling people that they need to change. Because no, nobody likes to be lectured, right? You like to be lectured? I don't. <laughs> you like to be told what to do? Probably not. Okay? So you gotta use kid gloves and say, you know what, I've been watching the lobby. I saw your x-ray, and if you want to get well and want to get to this position, do you think you can decrease the amount of time you text? Like maybe just take a period of time during the day where you're going to go. If it's urgent, of course now. But if it's not so urgent, take, okay, so I'm going to take this 20 minutes to half an hour a day, and that's what I'm going to catch. Okay? So we need to educate our patients in terms of time management. This is going to have to happen on a global basis. Because the next generation coming up, and then just think about two generations and know what the spines are going to be. The backpacks kids were at school. And they're texting and they're on their phone six, seven hours a day. Okay? This is nothing. this is gonna be an uphill battle for all of us. So here's the spine is flat. You want to get the curve back. Okay? So in your mind's eye, you have got to look at the cervical spine in a lordotic position. So every Look again. I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw a map. Ready? Here's the nose. Here's the lordosis. Here's the th cervical thoracic junction. Right? C7, C6, C5, C4, C3, C2, C1. Okay. So what you're going to have to do when you deliver the goods is you're going to have to, when you set the patient up, 
you're going to have to look at that lordotic spine in your mind's eye and say, okay, I'm at this level, therefore I must get my body in position, my hands in position to deliver the exact adjustment line of drive into that position in order to restore proper integrity to the lordosis of the cervical spine. Do you guys understand? You speak only Hindi, right? You, are, you, are you producing right now? Is your phone on? Oh, he's doing everything. Okay, so this is what we must do. All right? So, here's the patient. Black spine. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I see this. Looking and I'm palpating. You know, C7 spine, C6 is on the left. Okay, C5, C4, C3, C2, C1. Okay, C1 is out. Okay, so I go back to C6. So C6, remember I said C7, C6. So what I do is I take tissue slack on the lamina and I just don't sit up and drive through, through straight through. What I have to do now is come down further. Okay, and when I laterally bend, I'm going to also bring the head slightly posterior. Okay, and the line of drive is going to be towards the angle in which the C6 position is, has is, is proper position to recreate the lordotic spine. Understood? Yes? Yes. Anji? Yeah. Okay. So, C6 is L1. Tissue slack lens. Come into position. Okay, my educated brain is still thinking, where do I gotta go? Okay, there it is. Alright, now, I let go of my, my thinking. I attach to the NA intelligence. This is where heart comes in. Okay, there it is. I trust, I'm confident. I take the implant, lateral bend, slightly anterior, posterior. Pause, let God in. Deliver the goods. Okay? Same thing. The only, the only vertebra that is, is to be in a, in a, in a uh, neutral, how uh, shall I say, its position is going to be completely horizontal is C4. All the other vertebrae have a slight angle. Okay? C4 below, slight angle. C4 up, slight angle. Okay, the angles C4 to C7 are going to be towards the downward position. Up, it's going to be towards the upward position. Inferior angle, superior angle. Okay, we've got to recreate a lordotic spine. You do the best that you can as adjusters, and you have got to constantly educate your patients. Okay, patient education is extremely, extremely important. It's going to require patience on your part. It's going to require the mistakes that you make. You're going to make a lot of mistakes in saying what you say. What I could have said that differently. The experience is going to come into play. Your insights from your mistakes, which is wisdom, will come into play. So you can say the appropriate thing to the patient and what they ought to do, what they need to be doing. Because this is all about teamwork. It's not all about us. That's not fair. It's not all about them. If they ask you, well, doctor, what do I have to do? And if you don't answer that question, are you being a service to that patient? Well, no, you're not. You're being a disservice. So take the time. Even if your lobby's full, take the time with that patient to give them a little bit of extra information. Now, I've got here's a rule of thumb. If they're going to require like five to ten minutes of your time, you say, I'll tell you what. Why don't we have you come in at this time? It's not as busy on the next clinic time, come in at this time and I can allot you extra time so all these questions that you're asking me, which are very important, I can answer to you so that you can feel comfortable with knowing that I know that you're getting the right information and you're getting well. See how that works? Okay? Remember, you're the doctor, doctor. They aren't. So you take charge of your clinic, yet set up a time you know your days of your week, 
where there's not so many patients. That's a good time to have those types of patients that record. Hey, I'm excited, I'm to you to me. Okay, right? That way you get flow. Because the main thing about that lobby is you've got to move the freight. You got to keep it going. 